Hello my friends and welcome to Siggy Air. Today we have a short video but a good one. I think you want to pay attention to this particular video because I'm going to show you how to complement your aviation in Microsoft Flight Simulator with CHAP GPT-4 and how you can use CHAP GPT-4 to answer any questions regarding your flight or regarding your aircraft. In this particular video, we're going to ask questions about the Duke's Turbine aircraft, one of my favorite GA aircrafts here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's, it's becoming one of the preferred aircrafts for CG Air. I got this plane recently and, you know, there's a lot going on in this plane. There's a lot of information. It's a, a study level type of plane. And, you know, I want to get going quickly. I want to fly around. But there's a lot of things that... Um, that are hidden in the manual, which is uh, like a 170 page manual. And who wants to read all of that to be able to get going? You know, I don't want to spend time, you know, uh, leaning back and reading to try to get this going. So let's use chat GPT-4 to answer any questions that we have before we take off or doing our flight. Uh, let me show you quickly what I mean. If you don't have a chat GPT account, you can create one for free. It's not a, it's not a big deal and it's uh, very useful. And in chat GPT, you can come up and upload your, uh, for example, the turbine Duke's manual here. I'm going to come in and I'm going to add that manual into chat GPT. And it's going to read it and it's going to kind of analyze the, the it's a PDF file. And after that is set up, after it completes the uh, the processing, we'll we'll ask a couple of simple questions before we get our flights. In the meantime, well, well, yeah, it's already doing it. So let's say let's start with a simple question regarding uh, our uh, takeoff and performance. So let's say so let's let let's uh, have the question here. Let's put in the question or prompt here, and then say, what should my Rotation speed B with full fuel tanks and two passengers that weigh 175 pounds. All right, so let's take a look at that. Let's see what it comes out with. So it goes into your manual and it comes back and tells you uh, for the turbine Duke with fuel with full fuel tanks and two passengers weighing 175 each the rotation speed should be about 102 knots this information is derived from the v speed section of the manual fantastic you know you got you make sure you, uh, we have few uh, full fuel tanks here and we'll set up the tanks in a minute and um Actually, we can do that here. Let's go to the Dukes here and pull out the tablet and go to payload and just that's 138 on one tank, 133 on the right tank. And we have 170 pounds for two passengers, no cargo, no cargo. All right. So that's set up over here. So why don't we get the, the Duke started and, um, Let's see what we can get. Uh, you know, we can come up with other questions here during our setup and flight. And let's ask, when should I turn on my wing pumps? All right, you should turn on your wing pumps during the following phases, run up, engine air start in case of an in-flight engine, landing and shutdown. All right, so uh, we would need to do it on run up. Uh, we're gonna skip the run up, but this is great information. I didn't know that you need to uh, make sure that those wing pumps are on uh, when you are starting a, a, an engine in flight. And then turn that on on landing also, part of the checklist. Pretty cool, turn it off, 
when the engine gas generator speed is below 10% during the shutdown procedures. Now, how long would I have to spend, you know, reading the manual to get that information? That's just right, right off the bat here with uh, just uploading your um, manual to ChatGPT and asking your questions. So if you're flying airliners, you can come in and load your operational flight plan here. And sometimes here it's, it's really helpful because if you're busy putting in the information in the FMC, sometimes it's hard to go back and look through the, through the operational flight plan. It's kind of long document and, and, you know, you kind of scrolling up and down and see where the information is. So I loaded up this um, flight plan from Boston to um, Baltimore. So let's say we, we want to find out what the cost index is. So you can just, what is So you put in, what is the cost index for this flight? It's 40. So pretty quickly it identified the cost index. You didn't have to kind of scroll and look for it. Although it is in this particular example is easier to find, but if you, if you know about operational flight plans, but there, let's say, um, what is my, uh, zero fuel weight? I can spell that wait. There you are. It's estimated to be 58,000 pounds. Easy. What is my cruise? Altitude, not altitude, altitude. Anyway, this uh, flight level 360. Easy. What, what are what are the average winds for this flight? I can spell. There you go. Two one six degrees at thirty knots. All easy to kind of type it in um, rather than just kind of moving and scrolling through the uh, through the flight plan. I, I, I have a hard time too sometimes just going through that document and forgetting where things are. And so this is an easy way. Put it in there. Ask the questions. Ask and answered by Chab GPT. So that's how you can use it if you're, uh, you know, if you're familiar with the aircraft, you don't, you don't need the manual, you know, you're, you're pretty much in tune to that, but you will have the operational flight plan. You load it in, you ask questions and you're good to go. Oh, how many waypoints? Total 12 waypoints. So, pretty cool, huh? So, there you are. That's a really, uh, um, a really job aid that you have here with uh, Chat GPT that you can use for any of your flights. All right.
So, not a bad landing here. And we'll take the, we'll just go all the way here and then take this exit. And then take a right over here into the hangar. Right over here. Maybe a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna give me a ticket over here in Manchester. By the way, there's a great aviation museum here in Manchester. If you're ever in the area, go ahead and take a look. And um, Manchester Tower, Sea Gear 1123, clear of runway. Okay, so I think that you you get the you get the gist of it. You get the, how Chat GPT can really help you uh, with your flying here, especially if you're flying a new aircraft, especially if it's uh, one of these study level aircrafts. You can just put in the manual there and ask the questions, and it will come back, and it's uh, it's really helpful. So. My friends, I hope if you got anything good out of this video, please give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We have a, a lot of good videos in terms of informational videos like this. Uh, Siki always wants me to plug in um, pet adoption services, especially, you know, if you're looking for a co-pilot, you know, make sure that you, you know, you adopt and save a life. Um, we have some videos there when we promote pilots to the rescue. There's an organization that rescue pets and brings them from shelters where, where there's overcrowding to other shelters, usually in the north, where they can be safely adopted. So uh, if you're not familiar with pilots to the rescue, go and check them out and uh, contribute to, to them. Or if you want to contribute to this channel to support the pet adoption cause, uh, I will appreciate a uh, small donation, buy me coffee, or through Patreon. All right, thank you, my friends, uh, and thank you for staying with Siggy Air. And remember, Siggy Air will get you there. Siggy Air is best in the air. My friends, I don't make this stuff up. I'm only told what to say. The Siggy Podcast, the coolest cat around. He's got his own airline flying above the ground from New York to Tokyo in his fancy jet. Promoting pet adoptions, you won't forget. He still won't forget. He struts down the aisle, rocking his shades with a smile on his face, spread.